Today in this free chat GPT SEO workflow, I'm going to show you how to rank number one with an interesting AI SEO strategy that basically looks at your old content, your existing content, and quantitatively looks at ways to improve it in a quick and automated way using chat GPT. Now, we're going to look at several different ways to do this, and I'm going to give you all the show notes and all the prompts and all the techniques that we've talked about today for free at the end of this video. So make sure you keep watching, and we're going to get straight into it. So Google have released two updates on March the 5th, right? Number one is a spam update, and number two is a core update. Now, bear in mind, these are just rolling out, so don't make any drastic changes soon because it's going to take time. It might take like a month or so for the whole update to be rolled out properly and for things to settle. So if you see your rankings being a bit volatile, you know why. But what we're going to do from here is look at the Google Core Update guidelines that are available at developers.google.com. And if we scroll down right here, there's a section on assessing your own content. Now, if you look at this particular page right here, it has some guidelines on how to create helpful, reliable, people-first content. And these are basically questions you can ask yourself when assessing your own content. Now, why is that useful for you and how does it tie into ChatGPT? Well, one of the first things that you can actually do is leverage ChatGPT and the power of it to actually analyze your existing content and look at ways you can improve it based on Google's true advice. So if we take the helpful content guidelines that they're suggesting we use, what we can actually do from here is take the questions from Google Search Central, plug them into ChatGPT, and then we can say, break down these guidelines into quantitative criteria that we can use to grade our own content and improve it. We've got the guidelines from Google. Now you can see that it's given us a quantity and quality evaluation guidelines with actual scores based on expertise and trustworthiness, page experience, people first content, et cetera, and all the ways that you can actually grade your content to improve it. But the good thing is, rather than it subjectively being you that looks for all your content and checks for it, you can use the power of ChatGPT, which is probably better at data analysis than most of us, right? Now, what we can actually do from here is upload a piece of content that we want to improve. And you can do from this for any pages that have taken a big hit. You might be thinking as well, okay, well, how do you figure out which pages have taken a big hit? What you can actually do, you can go onto Ahrefs or any other SEO tool, see which pages have actually taken a drop in traffic. And what you can actually do, if you want to figure out, okay, which pages should you work on first, you can just look at your rankings on Ahrefs or any other sort of tool and see which pages have dropped in traffic the most. So from there, once we've figured out which pages has taken the biggest hit, and like I said, you wouldn't do this right away, but you can do it long-term in terms of re-optimizing your content. So for example, if you're doing this based on the core update, you do it once it's actually rolled out. Then we can upload our piece of content as a PDF. I would recommend a PDF because if you paste the content directly into ChatGPT, the problem is they won't include the images and everything else inside the content, right? Instead, what we can do is upload as a PDF and that includes all the formatting, all the internal links, all the external links, all the images, etc., inside the PDF. And then you can say from there, now grade this content for each criteria and give me actionable ways to improve it. And you can see what it's doing as we roll this out. Is it saying, right, for the content and quality evaluation, here's how you can improve it, right? It gives you a score out of five for insight, significant additional value, topics covered comprehensively, et cetera, and then actionable improvements that would make your content a lot better. And what you can actually see is that it recommends interviewing local ornithologists or bird watchers for unique insights, which makes sense to me because then your content is way more regional. You can still leverage AI and chat GPT in the workflows but that basically gives you a new angle on the content that's unique from everyone else's. Same for the presentation and engagement, same for quality and production. So for example, it says, well produced, three out of five, the structure is clear, but the visual appeal could be improved. And then you've got an actual improvement, which is enhance the layout with interactive elements, visuals, consider adding a downloadable guide or checklist. Now, this is quite interesting. In the expertise and trustworthiness section, it's given us some ways to improve the authority and trust of the content. So for example, clear sourcing and evidence, but lacking detail or for background or expert review. And basically what it's saying here is just improve the expertise of the person who's reading it. Right? So basically the author of the website lacks expertise on that particular subject, which hurts our expertise and trustworthiness scores. Then it's given us some tips on reader satisfaction and how to improve that score. So for example, adding interactive maps, bird watching tips, tailored to each species or user submitted sightings. And it gives us a summary right here on how to improve it. Plus we've got actionable ways to improve the content. Honestly, that's come up with more creative ideas than most SEO experts you're gonna hire. 
And it only took like literally one prompt to actually get the outputs and see and figure out exactly how to improve your content so that it can be more original in the future. Bear in mind as well that this probably wasn't possible previously because ChatGPT didn't have the token limit that it does now, which means that it can handle more data, it can look at it more comprehensively, and it can give you better improvements versus, say, 12 months ago where you'd have to paste in the article step by step and you can really upload a PDF. Now what you can do to even take this further is obviously it's only powerful information once you take action on it. So what you can say is give me an action plan on how to improve this step by step for my team and how to do each part. And what it's going to do from here is break down each task. So for example, like incorporating expert insights, localized knowledge and detailed behavior or conservation status. And it says, right, here's how to do it, right? So reach out to local ornithologists, bird watchers or conservationists for interviews or contributions, use scientific journals, source some images, etc. In fact, you could probably use ChatGPT to help with the image generation or even the interactive maps that you insert inside content as we recommended earlier. But basically, you've got a very actionable game plan from here that you can give to your team or you can work on yourself to manually improve each piece of content based on the data analysis from ChatGPT. Now, what you can also do is if you have ChatGPT+, Plus, you can go to chat.openai.com forward slash GPTs, type in something like helpful content guidelines or Google guidelines right here, and you'll get a bunch of custom GPTs that are made to do this sort of analysis on autopilot and all you need to do is insert your content, right? And these are free tools as long as you have ChatGPT+. Now you'll see a lot of different tools inside. I think one of the best ways to sort this quickly is by looking at the actual number of uses for each tool, right? Now that could be manipulated, but that's probably a quick and easy way to do it. So for example, you got the search quality, evaluated GPT right here, 1,000 people have used it. If we click on start chat right now, it will say start here, evaluate a page. And then it will say, like, to get started about your own page, could you please tell me what your search query is, blah, blah, blah. And then from there, you can just follow the workflow to get all the information that you need. You can also see a bunch of quality rater GPTs inside the chat GPT store. So, for example, quality rater GPT, 1,000 conversations right here. If we click on start chat from here, it says it will analyze your website using Google's quality rater guidelines, give some short improvement advice. And that's pretty much it, right? And then you can evaluate the EAT of your website. You can look at the user experience. I would take the recommendations with a pinch of salt, but if you can gather more data, you're going to have more options. And then you can just focus on the highest leverage ones. Now, obviously you can't do every single change, especially if you've got a lot of content to improve, but that's why I recommend sorting this number one by the highest leverage in terms of which pages have had the biggest loss in traffic. And then additionally, when you get all the options, for example, from the prompts I showed before and the custom GPTs, then sort by the highest leverage and highest impact changes it can make, right? So you can't do all of them in one day or one week, or one month, but you can focus on the ones which are going to have 80% of the impact with 20% of the work and then just go from there. Now, what you can also do is you can run your content through a greater tool like this, for example, Neuron Writer, and you can blog in your content and get an SEO. Now this tool leverages AI and it's an easy way to just check your content versus your competitors in terms of the semantic optimization of the page, right? It will grade your score in terms of the terms, the outline, the headings you've used, et cetera, based on what's already ranking on the SERPs. Now you don't want to just copy what's already ranking. You want to add some original content inside there, but that's another way to do this. And finally, what you can actually do is use this SEO checklist step-by-step -step to figure out, okay, from keyword research down to actually publishing, what changes do I need to make to improve that content? Now, the good thing about this is it's so simple and easy to follow that you can give it to a team member or you can give it to a virtual assistant and they can follow it step-by-step -step as well. So thanks so much for watching. Just to recap, why are we doing this? To improve your content quality and quantitatively figure out whether your content is good or not. And you can use ChatGPT or other AI tools for this. I think you could probably use Perplexity or Claude as well to do this too. How do you figure it out? You can look at stuff like, for example, the helpful content guidelines. You can use custom GPTs. And I've broken down all the prompts that I've used today plus some of the custom GPTs that I've mentioned, the SEO checklist and Neuron Writer as well. So if you want to get access to the prompts that I've mentioned today, you can get that inside my free chat GPT SEO course inside the AI SEO quality control section. This is called improving content as you can see, and you can get free access to this right here. It's inside my chat GPT SEO course. Feel free to get that links in the comments and description. And again, if you're doing this based on the core update, I would highly recommend that you wait until the core update has rolled out properly before you make any drastic changes to your content, right? So just wait, it's going to take time. It's going to be very volatile. And then from there, you can actually figure out
So thanks so much for watching. If you want to get a free SEO strategy session where we can show you step-by-step -step how to get more leads, traffic, and sales from SEO, feel free to book that in. Links in the comments and description, and you'll get an SEO domination plan. We'll answer any questions that you have. You'll discover the best link building strategies for your website. And that's basically it. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Bye-bye.